game at all. I did this all from like grinding out games and sniping players and stuff. But it's it's a pretty good team for not spending any money. I'm in Division One, so and I'm top top seven hundred in comp seasons. Uh, what am I actually? Might be eight hundred now. No, oh, top seven hundred in both things. Okay. But um, yeah. First, what the first um coin making method is do hot challenges. Hot challenges have made me so many coins. In the beginning of the game, I pulled McDavid for 200 coins in the NHL challenges. You get coins, it keeps going up, you get gold packs, and then you get gold plus packs, pretty good. But wrist pack right here, the mini collector pack. Wait, no, no, never mind. The rare, wait, no, I don't know. Where is it? Oh, it's the rare player plus pack. It's actually insane. You're guaranteed something good out of that. And then... Do the special team ones. Try to get 15 out of 15. I didn't, and I just don't feel like doing it. But you get packs of that. But the main thing is try to do the the weekly challenges. There's either a prime time milestone evolution flashback. Always try to do these. And then the main main thing, gift of giving challenge. If they're take two minute periods each one, and it all you have to do is win on pro. So I just completed that. I'll show you my rewards of this. You can do two things. Uh, this isn't the actual pack, but this is the, the collectible you get for playing it. Just get a present or whatever. I don't know. It's stupid. Alright, go to the set afterwards. After you do the uh, challenge. And um, I've got to check on Twitter to see what the rewards for this week is, but it's usually trash stuff. Twitter and follow a bunch of people who uh, do NHL or whatever and they'll tell you they'll, they'll like make a post of like this week's admin calendar day or whatever which is your trash stuff but one of these days you're going to accidentally do a rare player and there's going to be a good reward and I just don't want that to happen okay so on rare player so I'm going to do the collectible to a gold rare player set I sometimes get some good out of this. I've actually gotten an ice card once, so it's not bad. Alright, let's put her on in. Somebody got a gold rare player in that one. Somebody got a 93 Mc McKinnon. Ah, not McKinnon. McK What's his name? McKinnon, yeah. I said it right. McKinnon, McKinnon, yeah, that's how it is. All right, but that's an option right here today. But make sure you look at it. All right, I'm gonna see what we get. Come on, let's get a decent card. Uh, Sebastian Aho. That's just a quick sell player. I don't think I can make coins on him. All right, well sometimes you get something good out of him. The next coin making method is, let's see. Ooh, new cards came out. These are these are pretty nice. A lot of new cards. I I just it just updated. Holy shoot! There's a lot of nice cards. Is there anything else? We're up to sixty million. That's pretty cool. Ooh, eighty-eight Christmas legend is coming up. Okay. Ooh, that's not bad. All right. Sorry, I got distracted. Play competitive seasons is the second way to make coins in this game. In the like early competitive seasons, you got some really good rewards, coins or whatever. It's gotten a little bit worse, but it'll go up again. For the season where I'm ranking right now, I'm getting two holiday huge packs and three holiday packs. The holiday huge packs, I think, are 50k packs, and that's... Maybe 75. No, it's either 50 or 75k packs. But if you're really bad at the game, just literally play two games and you're guaranteed 5k pretty much. You're not going to get to 20,001 plus. Just play like one or two games, maybe three. 
Because if you play two and lose them both, you're going to win the next one because you're ranked so low and they're going to be also crap players. So just play until you lose after the uh, second game. If you if you play again the third game and lose, I, I just wouldn't play anymore. But you're going to get some decent rewards, especially for the season if you tr play all. Eh, you don't have to play all four, but you're going to get a guaranteed holiday pack, and that's not bad. So the third point of making coins in this game. Bid on players. That is a huge thing. I've gotten so many players so much cheaper than they should have been. Just because everyone went to the buy now and I was just at the bid. Let's see if I can get some a player for 8,500 coins. I don't really know the market for cheap players right now, so I'll just see. Oh, wait. I'm on buy now. Oh, this is finally working. That's cool. The keyboard wasn't working for me for some reason. Alright, let's see what we get an option for. I like to see if anyone's bidding on anyone ever. There's no bids going on. Alright, Mitch Marner, 600 coins. Drew. Seth Jones. None good bids. Sagan. Okay, I'm going to try to get the Sagan for under 8k. Actually, I just don't know how much he goes for. Um, I got two minutes to look him up, so I'm going to put a watch list on him. See what the cheapest one is. I'm going to say, let's see, he's under 8k. Alright. 4500 um i'm going to put the s s on over the price ah fudge me still got 2 minutes oh my god all right sorry right. oof sagan is gross for price 3k for tyler sagan that is market gross. Alright, so I'm going to try to get him for under 3k. He's at still 550, so I'm going to be making a profit, maybe. maybe. We'll see if we all get something. We'll wait here for a minute. Alright, I'll look at other stuff. Other centers, because I don't want to lose them. He'll be right here, hopefully. Yeah, he's right here, so I don't miss him. Alright, is anyone else going to... No, it's too high of a bid for me. I only have... I don't have coins. Yeah, that Sagan's probably the only thing I could bid on. Eichel. Not going to make a profit on him. I could get a profit on him, maybe. All right, let's just go back to the uh, Sagan. All right, let's bet on him. Seven hundred coins. No, let's see, seven fifty. And then just keep going back and forth, trying to refresh it. And there's that caution sign or whatever. So bet on him again. It's a thousand coins out right now. He's up here. I'm winning again. I'm still winning. I think I won him. Okay, so you go down to the old uh, item box. What? Okay, yeah, I won him. And then you literally just put him up for 2,500 coins. Or 2,600 because he's... No, I'm going to put him up for that. So 2,700 coins, I bought him for 1,050. So that's... Just... 1,600 coins. Sorry, my brain had a fart. I just made 600... I mean 1,600 coins from doing nothing. 
other than bidding on a player. So that's literally profit. You just keep doing that over and over again. The fourth method is... What should I say? Um, Draft Champions is dead, so I can't see that. Try to do sets. Some sets you can make coins on. I mean, I don't know if this is the fourth. Uh, there's, not, there's not really anything. Um, fourth method to making coins. I mean, you could always do the silver and bronze pack methods. I'm going to say that's number the, f the fourth type. Just open these b bronze pluses and silver pluses. Try to get the gold, the, go the, the collectibles to turn them into gold collectibles. Or just sell them straight out. You'll make profits. Some players go for a decent amount. Some don't. This is the fourth tip. Sometimes you make coins, sometimes you don't. It's a risky. Same with the gold plus pack, but I think that's a little bit overpriced right now. When it was 40k, the, the gold collectibles, definite, definite buy. The fifth tip to making coins in this game is freaking, what's it, what could you do? Um, Just play games. That is the fifth tip. Play games. So many people complain that they don't have the certain amount of coins, or like, they don't have coins, they don't have a good team. It's because they only have like 30 games played. I've played... 161... 240... I don't know, like 260 games. I mean, I've lost a lot of games, but I've improved. So like, out of 10 games, I'm win I'm only losing 2 now. When it, before, it was... I've gotten so much better... Obviously, because my team's better, but like, as you play more games, you're gonna make more coins. So, fifth tip: play games. I'm in Division One with decent comp records. So, I mean, obviously, I'm not top 100. That's why I'm playing more games to try to get there. But yeah. So, thank you guys all for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything, just comment below, and uh, I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And See you guys later. Make sure you sub, like, peace.